work, and that's why I brought Frank in, where we work physiologically, that we actually know where we go with the workshop. And this workshop for me is incredibly interesting. Uh, not just that we have a huge geographically range here, from China to Quebec to Alberta to BC to everywhere, we have a huge range of potentially knowledge or interests what they like to do with this small device. And for me, the fun part will be, can I try over these two days to bring it into a level so that we could explain it to a kid on the street and he could use that device. If I'm able to do that, that means this device is practical, usable in the market. If we get lost with any kind of discussion, who is right about what in exercise physiology, we basically better just go for a swing. Because that is class gap in hundred and years. What and how do we function? So my idea is to show you my idea, which is not the right way. It's one way. How I and why I use Moxie. And why I, over the last 30, 35 years, got more and more and more complicated. And in the last about 10 years, it got easier and easier and easier. And one of the reasons, actually, the guy who sits here in front, so that's why I'm happy he's here, mm -hmm. because his device helped me, for me, to understand practical exercise physiology much, much clearer. Because I can see what I do. And I not believe what I think. I can see practically. And my idea, and I need your help in this seminar, I like, need your help to see where can we go in a seminar? How far can we go if you have people who have no clue about exercise physiology? Can we go and use MOXIE like we used the PE 2500 or 250, the first one you remember from Polar? But we thought, this is great. Training is now easy. We put that heart rate strap on and we go running. And we did that. You remember when you got it the first time? My first heart rate monitor was a Casio with the cable all over the place. So you were running with the Casio and you were excited because you realized when I run fast, the heart rate goes up and when I run slow, it comes down. Now I see with people who use Amoxy, it goes exactly the same. They put Amoxy on and they send me the file and say, what do I do with that? Huh? When I was running really, really fast, it went down. It made a kind of sense because I needed somehow, somewhere energy. And then when I stopped, it actually went back up to me. But you know, sometimes it went up even tough. I was running hard. What the heck goes on? It doesn't tell me really the truth. When in fact, perhaps we are not that far yet to think what's happening properly. But we may have a chance to have one additional tool in our toolbox. Not to prove that what I did in the past was wrong, but to critically look what I did in the past can be enhanced with a new tool. And if that tool still fits in what I believe is the right theory. And I sent you a whole bunch of messy emails out. Uh, not, uh, one part was to confuse you, because I'm confused. Now, do we believe now there is something called VO2 max? Do we believe 2 and 4 minimal is a really great way? That's my generation. 2 and 4 minimal, that's how I got brought up. Mother was one of my teachers for seminars. No, that was the gospel. It's perfect. The only other part was we rarely had somebody with 4.0 minimum lactic in the system and we were running. I got people were all over the place, depending how we measured it. So there is a huge evolution. And my idea is very simple. I like to try for my clients in my rehabilitation center to go back to physiology, which fits to the person and it's not minimized on a cell structure or maximized on a 220 minus H rule because I was in a plane with somebody to tell him if he told me it's pretty close to how it could work. So this is what I like to achieve. So I normally make a huge plan how I like to go ahead. So that plan got already overruled last night, so I made in the night another plan I will go ahead. It only got overruled now, and I see what people are doing. So I don't have a plan anymore. So we just will go ahead, and you come in and you give focus and say, what's about that? And I just like to try to guide in a certain direction today. But first, what I like to do is I like to put a mox on you, and we just start playing. 